Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a full moon in Virgo reading for my dearest Libras. Now Libra, this full moon is taking place on March 18th and with the sun in Pisces and moon in Virgo, we're definitely feeling the magic. The last full moon before the equinox, it offers us a chance for closure, healing, and emotional release. All right, so Libras, if these messages resonate, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, and let's go ahead and get into this. We're going to start off with some angel number messages um, and see uh, some of these numbers. They may resonate with you. You may have already been seeing them or you may start to see them in the next couple of weeks. Just as a little reminder or tap on the shoulder from your angels and guides that you're on the, in the right going in the right direction. Okay, Libras. Your first number is 13. I am confident. You are a conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals. Beautiful. 888. Yes, I love this. I am abundant. As you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. Wow, you, many of my Libras, you guys are going through a major transformation and calling in like love, um, money, 222. Two, two. I am balanced. Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and action. I am balanced. What powerful numbers here, Libra. And 777, I am in the flow. Your purpose flows from within you, and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul. Beautiful. And number 29. You are highly intuitive and creative. Your mind thinks in pictures and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the sky. A powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. I am insightful. All right, Libras, let's go ahead and see how these messages resonate in your reading. So we're going to take a look at your energy, what you're leaving behind, what you're moving towards, and we'll get as much advice from spirit as possible. Clear messages and guidance for my Libras. Wow, that came flying out for this full moon in Virgo. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. So many of my Libras, you've been working hard towards um, manifesting something. It could be, you know, a creative project, a job, a relationship. Now remember, my new moon and my full moon readings are not always specifically about love, although they certainly can be. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups in reverse, what you're leaving behind. Okay. Moving towards the Ace of Swords, clarity, a new beginning. What you need to know, the Eight of Swords, you're freeing yourselves up, Libra. And we've got the Moon, what you need to do, keep moving on the path. The path is being shown to you the path forward. Strong Cancer, Pisces energy. We have a lot of water and air in this chart. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And we've got the Five of Swords, which believe it or not, Libras, I love this card in this position because this is you. This is you slaying those inner demons. This is you beating out all the competition. This is you putting yourself first. And you can see He's one. He has all of those swords or all of those knives. Okay? So this is a major win for you. This can be negative self-talk that you're sort of um, moving away from or people or relationships. And for some of you, you have been through a very difficult like divorce or separation or the breakup of some sort of partnership or family situation. The Knight of Swords, here you are, Libra. You're moving very quickly and you are completely supported on this path, transforming your finances, your love life. Many of my Libras in that Nine of Cups, you've been spending a lot of time on your own, 
but you've also been putting one foot in front of the other, working and planning, and that's going to pay off for you. And this is part of your true soul's purpose, whatever this is that you're doing. Like I said, some of you, it's a new relationship, but for many of you, it's like it's like a job or a career or a creative project or an expression that you were put on this earth to be a part of or to, to create, all right? So let's get in and clarify. Why is this Nine of Cups here for my Libras? The Nine of Coins in reverse, yeah. A lot of my Libras, this is what I'm getting. These nines are telling me that you're closing out a difficult karmic cycle. Um, and you may not have had a whole lot to offer people. Now, not everybody's going to take that um, the right way. And you know what? That's okay because this is your journey. You had to do you. You had to focus on your happiness, on your wish fulfillment, and what you wanted or want to manifest. And there's that number 13 coming through. Strong Scorpio energy in this reading, but it doesn't have to be. It can just be the energy. Um, some things come to an end for you. And I feel my Libras, you're no longer going to be overgiving. Um, and you're transforming your life. If you were once codependent or dependent on someone or something, I see you completely um, excising that, moving away from that, getting out from underneath that. For some of you, it's the dissolution or um, the breakdown of a marriage or a strong commitment, a family situation, or maybe even a job, any sort of situation that brought you a lot of happiness at one point in time. I see you moving away from it. Seven of coins, you've learned from the past. Many of my Libras, you've been in hermit mode, um, and this is coming up a lot with this Virgo energy, um, but you've been in hermit mode trying to find balance and recognizing that whatever the situation was, you had to move away from it. And the nine of wands in reverse, it was draining your energy. It was too much. It was either asking too much of you or you were just exhausted with fighting and arguing and with sort of running into um, challenges and obstacles, you know, every turn you sort of made. So I do feel that this is a sense, you know, there's this energy of no one likes a quitter, but I also feel you recognize that whatever this was, it, you knew that it was time to walk away from it. The lessons had been learned. Now we see the star card in reverse, Aquarius energy. Um, so you're headed towards a brand new beginning and clarity. The star card tells me that you do need to give yourself some time to heal. Um, and a lot of my Libras, you don't have to know exactly the path forward and what it looks like in every step of the way. Um, sometimes we're only shown, you know, one or two or three steps forward, um, but we have to trust and you're being divinely guided towards this new timeline, if you will, this new beginning. And it's a very strong sense of renewal with the death card here, but also be kind, caring, loving, and compassionate with yourself as you are still healing. And we see the Queen of Swords in reverse. Some of my Libras, this new beginning, and they're, they're, they're framing it for me as dental work. And with many of you know, I've just had to take a small break because of some, some dental issues. But um, they're showing it to me with this Ace of Swords as the eruption of a new tooth. Okay, it's a painful procedure. Um, and, you know, even, you know, with babies teething, um, the beginning of something new means the cutting away of something old. And we see you doing that. Um, and the Queen of Swords in reverse tells me that there was something, it can be an aspect of yourself, but truthfully, it feels like you may have been dealing with another air sign or somebody that was pretty angry or pissed off at you, Libra, about making this change. Because I have a feeling you were pulling their weight or you were the one that was, you know, you were the glue that was holding everything together, but it was to your detriment. Um, I see with the Queen of Swords as well, it's just a, a quick little reminder to not anchor yourself in disempowering beliefs um, or to replay the hurt and the heartache over and over again. You're ready. It's one thing to acknowledge your feelings, but if we overfeel our feelings, sometimes that keeps us in that same frequency and Spirit's telling you it's time. It's time to move forward. You're ready for this. Now with the Eight of Swords in reverse, what you need to know, you're breaking free of a karmic cycle. Um, you're purging and releasing negative patterning. Um, with the Eight of Swords in reverse, this negative patterning can be something that you've had or was passed down to you or something you've had since childhood. You're moving through it quickly because you've seen, you've, you're seeing things from a higher perspective. For others of you, it's a karmic relationship where you realize the lessons have been learned. Now it's time for me to leave it in the past. It's time for your abundance, Libra. My goodness. The two of swords in reverse. Yep, you're seeing things clearly. 
The Eight and the Two of Swords take us to the Ten of Swords. This has been a very painful, difficult ending. And for some of you, um, you have somebody that's quite bitter and doesn't want to see you go. You may have people around you that aren't supportive of you, Libra. And I want you to really protect yourself with that. Keep things sort of close to your chest until you're feeling strong. Um, trust your intuition, but you're seeing things. You've made a decision. You're moving forward. And I just see that it's not going to be easy every step of the way, but things are going to fall into place for you, Libra. Um, either whether that's calling in a new soulmate, divine counterpart, um, going through a difficult divorce, breakup, separation, getting a new job, starting a new business. You're ready. You're done with that old version of you. And we get the six of wands. Yeah, there are going to be some challenges. But what Spirit's saying is that's to be expected. But remember that challenges and um, obstacles, challenges, adversaries are a chance for you to shine your light. And I see that you are considerably enlightened here, Libra. Now we have strong Cancer Pisces energy with the moon card. So what you need to do is keep moving forward. The path is being shown to you. If you don't know every step of the way, that's okay. Spirit's telling you, don't freak out. You know, some of us are planners. Some of us like to know exactly what's going to happen. But I feel that Spirit's only showing you one or two steps ahead for a reason. And you're meant to really trust this, that there are doors opening for you. The Page of Swords in reverse. I do feel that there are a lot of people, there are a lot of eyes on you, Libra, because you're breaking out of an old mold. You're stepping onto a new timeline. And, you know, any sort of parasitic energy or lower vibrational entities or attachments or situations or relationships that you're involved in, it's going to trigger not only within them that they're losing you, and for many of you, like I said, you were doing the work for two people or you were the glue that was keeping everything together. Um, but for many of you, it's triggering within others what they don't have the strength and the courage to do themselves. So just be mindful of that. Um, and the five of coins, yeah, your financial situation is shifting in a really big way. And if you're if you have family members or friends or people around you that are still struggling, you know, um, I'm not saying that all of them are not going to be happy for you, but I definitely pick up on this a little bit of negative energy around you, Libra, a little bit of, you know, whether that's backhanded compliments, whether that's sort of frenemies, um, or just people who might be a little bit jealous or triggered that you're sort of leaving them behind. Remember that misery loves company, and I don't think that's where you want to be, and that's definitely not where you're going to stay if that's where you were, okay, if that makes sense. All right, Five of Swords, this is about you doing what's best for you. This is Venus and Aquarius energy. This is you moving out of a negative, lower vibrational timeline. It's a challenge, absolutely. And we see the Devil card, but you're releasing karma. You're releasing yourself. You're moving out of a very difficult karmic situation. And we see the Five of Swords again. It's not going to be easy. You know, Libra, you are... You are doing it. This is exactly what you need to do. Um, and, and I feel many of my Libras, you were used to focusing on others um, or, you know, worried about the us versus the me. I'm worried about the group, which is very typical Libra in fashion. But now you realize, you know what? This isn't healthy for me. I've got bigger and better things to do and you are off. You're doing it and you're cutting cords. That's what I'm seeing. You're releasing negative attachments. You've learned the lessons and you know, you're moving on to this higher vibrational timeline. Libra, you are magic. Some of you, you may be dealing with a Virgo or Gemini or you have one coming towards you. This is really, really powerful energy. I do apologize. My sinuses are a little bit um, congested, but I think it's just because of what, uh, what's been going on here. Okay, let's go ahead and see. So you are magic. You are manifesting this abundance. Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you're nourishing them. And there we go. Magician energy. So whatever you want, Libra, it's on its way in. And that's because of your hard work. You've been focusing. You've been changing your focus from the negative to the positive. And um, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life. Absolutely, that's what we see in this reading. So Spirit's telling you it's okay to begin now. Give yourself permission to take that first step. Many of my Libras, you already have. I'm, just, I'm getting really excited here for you. And finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. So trust that the divine has got your back. Many of you, like I said, there's a little bit of a nervousness because you might not be able to see all of the steps forward, but you're being purposely shown only maybe two or three um, 
for a reason, okay? And I do see many of you, if you were in a difficult, even abusive situation or an oppressive situation, job or relationship or family or, or romance or living situation, that things are gonna get so much easier and better for you. And look at you, stepping into your power. You are a beacon for others. So remember, so for as many people that are going to be triggered by you making this transformation and stepping onto this higher vibrational timeline, this is part of your soul's purpose, Libra. And you are inspiring others. You are a beacon for others. You're stepping into your power and into a leadership role. And you know what? Spirit is going to put people and situations on your path that are going to help you achieve these goals. And for many of you, I feel like if this is a love situation or or if you're single, for example, you stepping onto your true soul's path is going to bring you like a divine counterpart. Um, but it's more than that. It's like you're calling in members of your soul tribe and your collective. Libra, this is a beautiful reading. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's see what additional messages come through for you. So we have the thorn, protection, boundaries, clear communication. Yeah, there you are. So with the Ace of Swords, I feel my Libras, you're taking a look at any negative self-talk, people in situations that aren't in alignment with you, and you're releasing it, and you're setting boundaries. And first, you're telling yourself, and you're speaking it to the universe. And then, you know, if anybody tries to get in your way, I am getting that you will, you know, you've got a silver tongue. You're going to speak your peace and your truth. And this may come as a surprise to, to others, because I feel like you were being nice. And somebody here may have taken your your nice niceness as weakness and ooh, are they wrong healing the mother line yeah i was getting that and so we do see there could be something that's been passed down to you libra um, but i see your ancestors are supporting you you have all of this divine support and it's definitely coming from your ancestors to help heal um, whatever any sort of trauma or negative energy that may have been um, passed down to you i know i just repeated that a few times my apologies but I also see here you're graduating. You're ready to move into this leadership role. Now, for some of you, you might be moving out of the family home. For others of you, it's an unhappy marriage or living situation. For others, it's a raise or a promotion. Some of my Libras, you're stepping into like to be the CEO of your own business, but really of your own life. And I love that. And we get rapture, sensuality, love, devotion, romance, ecstasy, and pleasure. So yeah, this Virgo full moon is bringing you everything. <laughs> I mean, the works. Um, definitely financial abundance and success. And for many of you, there's a very, very special soulmate on your path as well. And we get we are nature, becoming grounded. So stay grounded. Rem remember to stay balanced, that divine... Um, sovereign energy you know we all have masculine and feminine energies within us so it's important to strike that balance um yeah beautiful i'm going to leave it there libra um if these messages resonate with you i am going to ask that you like share and subscribe if these messages Gosh, I'm getting all confused here. My apologies, Libra. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you like the cards I'm using, I have them listed in the description box down below. Also, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Also, if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, I have those links in the description box too. All right, Libras, love and light. Take care.